The yummy membrane, a sweet explanation of membrane fluidity and permeability. Membranes are formed of a double layer of phospholipids. Phospholipids contain a polar head and fatty acid tails. Membrane fluidity and permeability mainly depend on the fatty acid tails portion of the bilayer. In contrast, except for particular cases, polar heads have only a minor influence on membrane fluidity and permeability. In this video, we will illustrate the fatty acid layer of the membrane with jello, while we represent the polar head portion with miniature marshmallows. Let's talk about membrane fluidity. According to the dictionary, fluid means, having particles that easily move and change their relative position without a separation of the mass and that easily yield to pressure, capable of flowing. The temperature has a significant influence on fluidity because it increases motion. The higher the temperature, the easier the movement and the more fluid the membrane is. You can picture this easily with this jello pan. Here, at a slightly higher temperature, it is very fluid. Then, at a lower temperature, it is less fluid. Again, marshmallows on top represent the polar heads of our phospholipids, but they have a minor influence on the fluidity state, which is determined by the fatty acid layer consistency. The nature of fatty acids making phospholipids also strongly influences membrane fluidity. Indeed, phospholipids contain either saturated or non-saturated fatty acids. The level of saturation has a significant impact on the motion of the particles. There are three types of movements naturally occurring in the phospholipid layers. Flex, when phospholipids rotate on themselves. This motion occurs more than a billion times every second. Lateral shift. This change of relative position occurs one million times every second. Finally, there is the flip-flop motion, where the phospholipid transfers into the other layer. This motion is not frequent, on average, once a day. If we concentrate on the flex and lateral shift motion, we can see that the result is quite different between a fully saturated fatty acid and an unsaturated one. The fully saturated fatty acid doesn't occupy much room, and this doesn't change much when it rotates or shifts. In contrast, because of its kinked tail, an unsaturated phospholipid creates a lot of space around itself when it rotates or when it shifts. Hence, the membrane is much more fluid because motion occurs more efficiently when the temperature is higher and when saturation is lower. Another critical determinant of membrane fluidity is the presence of rigid structures. In the membrane shown here, they are represented by the sugar canes and chocolate cookies. Cholesterol is one of the rigid structures often found in membranes, especially in plasma membranes. The presence of rigid structures acts a little bit like a motion enhancer, to some extent. When phospholipids rotate in shift position, they may bump on a rigid and motionless structure like cholesterol. Bumping on cholesterol creates a rebound and accelerates the motion of the phospholipid, thereby increasing it. Hence, increasing cholesterol in a membrane will increase movement and, as a result, fluidity. But this has a limit. If the membrane is packed with rigid structures, then even with the rebound acceleration of the phospholipids, there will be a restriction of the movement capacity. Phospholipids will be trapped between numerous stiff and motionless cholesterol molecules. Thus, between 10 and 30% of the total membrane composition, increasing the quantity of cholesterol proportionally increases the membrane fluidity. However, further increasing the amount of cholesterol above 30% will proportionally decrease the membrane fluidity. Now, what is the relationship between fluidity and permeability? Well, when the membrane is not very fluid, the motion of phospholipids is restricted and the membrane stays tight. In contrast, in a more fluidic membrane, there is a constant movement of phospholipids. This continuous motion creates temporary holes between phospholipids, through which substances can quickly pass. Hence, the more fluid, the more frequently holes form and close and the more porous a membrane is. Pay attention! Membrane permeability is determined not only by fluidity but also by the nature of the substance attempting to pass.